Welcome to the cool section. I'm KC and the King has arrived. This is the Black Panther life size bust from Queen Studios and this is edition size number 281 out of 600. Thank you ma'am. So taking a look at the box right out of the gate we got a portrait or side portrait of Black Panther on this uh, front right here. On the side we got Queen Studios logo. Over here we got a close-up of it with how it lights up on the helmet or mask. You also have Black Panther Life Size Bust, Avengers Infinity War, another Queen Studios logo, and we're back to where we started. So we're gonna get this open and see what the final product looks like. Well, here's the Certificate of Authenticity from Queen Studios, 281 of 600. And it's nice to have another Queen Studios statue. This is our second Queen Studios statue. So I'm definitely happy about adding Black Panther to the collection. Here's the styrofoam box. It is secured by Velcro belts, which is always a nice plus in my opinion to have for the statue boxes. Here's the base. I assume the name plate for Avengers Affinity War goes right here, but overall it has that nice tech look. Wakanda design to it. Here's the bottom. Here's the top where the bust itself will plug in. I like the base. It's not too sophisticated, but it works. Here's the Infinity War logo, Marvel. Nothing on the back. Yeah, this is just gonna plug in the front. So overall, looks good. Here's the flashlight. Let's see if it has a battery. No battery included, so we're gonna add one of those to it so we can see how this statue lights up when you flash this on it. It's got a nice little Queen Studios logo though. Putting this statue together is pretty simple. The nameplate has a slot right here in the front. So you just plug this in and there you go. Here is the final product, all assembled for the life-size bust of Black Panther. What do you think about this? I think it looks really nice. It seems to have a lot of details. I like that look on his, on his face, his mask. Now this statue really shines when we talk about how it was sculpted. Especially when you look at the neck and chest area, you can see all these little engravings and details that showed us how detailed that Black Panther outfit truly was. There is a ton of detail sculpted into this statue. So if you're coming in thinking that this is just some plain statue of just a black mask and a black torso, you will be very mistaken when you get to see this up close and see just how much detail and work Queen Studios put into making this thing come to life. They did a phenomenal job sculpting this statue and having many different patterns throughout the entire thing. All these little engravings, from Wakanda and everything that's all over this statue. That makes this statue really stand out and it just makes me really appreciate the Black Panther outfit itself and of course, what Chadwick Boseman brought to the table. The way that they sculpted his claw necklace into his outfit is a nice addition as well. It's definitely sculpted all the way around, going from the front to the back. And it looks just as iconic as it did in the film. When we make our way up to this helmet, the way they have all these engravings on here and the way that his face looks is absolutely true to the movie's design and this looks exactly like what one would expect from seeing this statue in person. Now this statue does come with a flashlight to shine on particular sections of the outfit where you can see just how detailed these engravings are and they light up like how his outfit did when it absorbed a lot of energy and things like that in the film. My issue with this is that though it's nice, you can't really get the bigger picture of what this outfit truly looks like illuminated unless you have something like a black light to just constantly shine on it so that you can see all the engravings lit up all around the outfit. It's not a make or a break deal or anything like that. It's a nice addition, but I think if you really want the bigger picture and what this thing could truly look like, you gotta have a black light to add to it. If you guys are interested in pictures of this statue, we'll have quite a bit of them on our Instagram, so you can check that out at the cool section on Instagram. 
Here is a size comparison between the Justice League Batman and the Black Panther from Infinity War, both statues from Queen Studios. What do you think about this size comparison? I think they go well together. Batman is obviously bigger than Black Panther, but I feel like that's accurate. So it goes, goes good together. Just a side note, this Batman bust is lower than the Black Panther one, but it's still taller despite being at a lower height. So if it was on the same playing field, it will be even bigger and taller than this Black Panther statue. But these are two very amazing characters and two very amazing statues to add to your collection if you have the opportunity to do so. When it comes down to the final value of this statue, do you think that people should go after this if they have a chance? Do you think that they should pass on it? Do you think they should just kind of wait till they can get this at a decent price? How do you feel about this Black Panther statue? It is a buy. There is no reason to wait. And there's definitely no reason not to get it. I think if you're a Black Panther fan, if you're a Chadwick Boseman fan, if you're a Marvel fan, it doesn't matter. This is, this is a buy. I think that this statue of Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther is an absolute must have if you are an MCU or a Chadwick Boseman fan or a Black Panther fan. This man went through so much playing this character, you know, and knowing that he was going through all that pain in his life, still going out there performing in Infinity War and in Endgame and Black Panther and Civil War. This man was a true hero and he deserves to be honored with something amazing like this in your collection if you have the opportunity to get this statue. Having this guy represented like this and knowing that I had this statue on order before his tragic passing last year, it just makes this statue invaluable in my opinion and I am so very happy and thankful to Queen Studios for making this character come to life to where I can always just look at him in my collection every day and appreciate him for what he did because his legacy will live on forever. And there is nobody that will replace Chadwick Boseman or the work that he put in to bring Black Panther to life. Thank you Queen Studios for this statue. I will be very happy to see if you guys make a half scale or one third scale Black Panther statue based on his Civil War or his Infinity War slash Endgame outfit. I would buy that immediately if you guys do that. I'm looking forward to seeing all these other statues that you have because you guys do phenomenal work. I've got that one third, my bad. I got that one half scale Aquaman on order and the Iron Man Mark 50 life size bust. And I'm just looking at all these other amazing statues that you guys have because you do such a phenomenal job. And I'm happy to have this second Queen Studio statue in the collection. But overall, this is the amazing statue from Queen Studios. I'm KC from the Cool Section, and y'all have a good one.